Right, so if somebody from you was there at last year's Roscon, there was a bird of the feather session about like, oh, how do I actually program, like what's the right way of like, what, are, what editor do, you, do I use, what should my IDE use like, be like, how should I configure it, and all the stuff. And it was an interesting discussion because of course everybody has his own opinion what the right editor is. But since last year a lot of stuff has changed. Um, me personally, I worked a long time with Sublime Text, and uh, since last year I actually was able to switch uh, to Atom. And I just want to give my short experience and also how to easily start with that. So one big advantage of Atom is that it's very highly customizable. So there's, I would say, almost nothing you can just add as a plug-in to it. And of course, for everybody who programs all the day, you just don't want to touch your mouse. You just want to have your key hands on the keyboard all the time. So it's good that you can do everything with shortcuts. But that's pretty common. Uh, the good thing is that it's very feature-rich editors. So you can have syntax highlighting, standard. You can have uh, linters, which will validate that your code complies to certain um, certain uh, constraints, like Python code, for example, to the PEP, PEP 8 or two, PEP 257 standard. Or you want to ensure that actually your code, while you type it, is not actually invalid if it's C++. You don't even have to start the compiler for that. It can, can happen in the background. Or if you write like a gazebo model, um, you just want to like just validate it immediately. If you mistype an attribute, it just tell you immediately. Um, auto completion also also very standard, and you want to have access to all the documentation. So devdocs.io is a place where documentation from different languages gets accumulated. So it's good to have that like at the fingertip. Um, but there are also features like this example where you have a really complicated, in this case, not that complicated, regular expression, and you just want to visualize it. And the editor just has plugins for that. You just go to the regular expression, you see the nice railroad diagram. It's just a lot of benefits for you as a developer. Usually it's very difficult to like set it all up because there are so many packages involved. So how can you get bootstrapped uh, easier to get started and try it out? Well, the steps are really simple by now. That was not year, that the case last year, but now you just install Atom. You install a single package. It's called uh, Sync Settings. And then in order to configure everything, you first have to enter your uh, token for GitHub. And then you can clone an existing configuration. You can, for example, use the one I referenced. That's the one I currently use. Uh, it's a GIST file on GitHub. Um, you just clone that. And by that one, you get the same setup I use on my machine. And um, that's great. You sometimes have to install some dependencies, like Python PEP8 or something. So that's not optimal yet. But um, I think that's a good start to get uh, to try out Atom. So if you want to give it a shot, and or if you want to give feedback, or if you want to see the configuration, just uh, see me later, and um, I can show it live if you want. That's it. Thank you. <laughs>